Hello there. Hello. Are you all right? Yes, thank you. Okay, so you booked in because you have an eye problem, haven't you? That's right. I woke up this morning, my right eye was a bit sore. And when I went to the bathroom, I noticed it was red. So I thought, oh, there might be something major with this. I'll get it checked out. Okay, so only the right eye? Yeah, left okay. eye's fine. All right. Any loss of vision in each eye? No. Have you tried comparing just by? Yeah. So I've definitely. Done. Like that. I like that one. Vision seems the same. Right, right. Anything like this ever happened before or not? No. No. Okay. Any discharge? No. Okay. You say it's more sore than painful? Or? Yeah. It's not really, it's not unbearable. No. But I can feel that eye. Okay. What what pain score out of ten would you give it? Three, possibly. About a three? Yeah. All right. How's your health at the moment? It's fine. Right. How's your blood pressure? As far as I know, my blood pressure is great. Right. Diabetes? I've got that. Okay. Is it under, under control? control? It's under control. What about cholesterol? Um, your cholesterol was okay in my last check. Right, right. Okay. That's fine. Um, we'll get some tests done, try and get to the bottom of things. Okay. All right. Okay, if you hold that for me, about 40 centimetres. I'm just going to cover the left. Okay, what's the smallest row you can read? Six, six. Have a go. OXV. What's the vision like through the left? Just the same, OXV. Okay. Any difference in clarity between the two? If anything, I'd say it's slightly clearer in the right eye. So the one that's red? Yeah. Okay. Have you experienced any increase in flouters in your vision at no. all? No. Any flashing lights since? No. Right. Any halos around lights? No. Okay. So it's just that soreness. Yeah. No discharge, nothing else. Okay. Just a near vision check here. Small as you can read there. Okay, V. Do you want me to read it the same again? Yeah. It's okay and V. Okay. Is it still clearer through the right? No, for the reading, it's about the same in both. Is it? Okay. That's fine. Thank you. All right. Just uh, turn the lights off. Okay, just focusing on the distance target for me, please. Also working fine to the light. Just take your glasses off for me now. Okay, looking straight ahead. Just the light coming from the side. Just checking the anterior angle there. I think the pupils are looking equal in size. So that's now a nice aquarium in dip. Looking straight ahead. Just expecting a smaller size now. It's about four mil in the left. The right, sorry, and four in the left. So pupils and our problems. Not now, just any double vision since the redness. No. Excellent. Okay, I think it's going to be a good idea to check your eye pressures. It's a fancy looking gadget. So essentially, a little sterile probe flicks the eye. Right. Does it hurt? No. 
you might just be aware of it touching your eye but it doesn't hurt so for this test now no anaesthetic drops are required right so your job is to look straight ahead both eyes up and breathe normally just going to rest against the forehead I'm just going to use a fresh probe for the other eye, okay. just in case it needs, it's an infection, yeah. we're down to cross contaminate. Very similar. Okay, just looking up for it. Right? Just going to have a grass look. side of mass redness at the moment looking down for me yep straight ahead and yeah, it's more on this side isn't it on the central side that's where I noticed it yeah about 1.5 rest of the eyes the rest of the zones and in the left eyes about 0 0.5 on this grading scale right I've got some more equipment to take a better look there with some more magnification. But what I want to do is I want to pop some yellow dye in the eye first before doing anything else. Okay. This checks for any damage, particularly focusing on the cornea. Now this doesn't sting, doesn't blur the vision either, in fact it's completely painless. both eyes as well, so just looking up for a minute. Okay, just take a few blinks now. Okay, we also have a corneal grading scale there. To. Okay, I'm going to use some bright blue light now. Keep looking off into the distance to start with. Okay, this is the Burton lamp. Okay, just look through the window if it blocks your view. Okay, now looking up to the ceiling. Just remember to blink. Reduced here break up time. 
Look left. Look to the right. Now look down. Straight ahead again. Okay, there's no corneal staining there. Straight again. Blink. Looking up. Looking right. Left. And down. So no corneal staining in either eye, that's a good sign. The tear breakup time is a little bit low, so that means after a blink, within a few seconds, the tears are evaporating. Have you been diagnosed with dry eyes? No. Nope. No. I do know I suffer from it occasionally. What kind of symptoms do you get? It's in the morning, more than anything. My, eye, my tears tend to run down my cheeks. Do they? It, it doesn't happen every day, but sometimes. Do you get any grittiness? It's a little bit. It's mm. more like the salt in the eye. Do you, Is that why I do you use any ocular lubricants? No, I just no. blink a few times, stab it with a bit of tissue, mm. and it's fine. Okay, keep looking straight out again. As promised, I want to have a look with the white light again. Just to further assess the redness. Looking left for me. Yeah, so it's on the temporal side. Now to the right, and down, and up, temporal sided redness, about 0.15, look right again, and left, and down. No signs of blepharitis either. Like I'm also not seeing any uh, inflammation of the lids. Right. Okay, I haven't seen any discharge, which is good. There's no damage to the window part of your eye. There's no fat growths on the eye either, which we call pinguecula. Yep. In some cases they can become a bit inflamed if you get a fat growth. Right. But there's no signs of any of that either. Alright. So, just to be safe, I need to look inside the eyes. It's going okay. a bit closer, alright? Just to rule every possibility out. Or rule out anything sinister at least. Okay, chin up a little bit. Keep looking straight ahead. So the optic nerve is pink and it's defined. It's now sectoral hyperemia. A fairly deep cup. Just about point six five. Okay, now look down. I'm just going to raise the lid. Now look to the left. Right. And up. Straight ahead. Looking into the light this time. Good, I can't see any retinal pathology. Well, you use the green light at this stage when it's been a white light all the other times. Just helps me to better visualise the blood vessels. Right. That kind of show up as black rather than the standard pinky red colour.
composite something rolled in. I'll go straight ahead, let's check the left. So put the cranial nerve number two to start with. Particular landmark. Again, it's defined, good colour. An obvious swelling or hyperemia. into the light again. Look into your right hand side. And left. And down. Just up again. Excellent. Let's just get the lights. Good, I think we've ruled out anything sinister. Oh good. So there's nothing, there's no closure of the angle of the eye. The pressures are good. The pupils are working normally. The optic nerve looks fine. Right. In terms of the front where it's occurred, the redness, there's no signs of any infection. Right. What I'm thinking is, just on that one side, might have a little bit of something called epi episcleritis. And what's that one? It's just say? where the vessels of the the episclerera just become a little bit inflamed. Right. Sometimes there's no apparent cause. Okay. Do you have any inflammatory conditions at all? No. No, no arthritis? No. IBS or anything like no. that? Right. I'm going to see you again in a couple of days, by which time it should have subsided. Yeah. And I don't think any treatment is necessary at this point. Right. So I just put up with the mild soreness for today. It might be that it's better tonight or tomorrow. Okay. All right. If I'm yeah. going to book you in for two days, but if anything flares up, say if it gets worse or you develop any new symptoms, contact you again. You need to come back in again. Okay. All right. Does that sound right. okay? Yeah. That's All right. Great. So you should be fine. Or I'm at least going to recommend some ocular lubricants. Okay. I think. In cases like this, it might just make the eye feel a little bit more comfortable. Alright. And especially with some Any dry eyes. Any specific ones? You well, can you can try these. Right. There's a couple of samples left. This is the Xylin Fresh. Okay. Okay, it's preservative free. And it can, contains Karma Lows 0.5%. So they're completely right. safe to use. Aim to use this in the right eye three or four times a day. Right. A couple of times in the left and just see what it does for you. Okay. Alright, especially with the grittiness. All right. So you could use it before bed, and then when I get up, in one the in each eye, and then a fresh one in the morning. All right. So you remember to use a fresh one each time. Okay. All right. So they're single use. Just bin them when you've finished. Right. Okay. I think that's it. See you in a couple of days. Excellent. Thank you very much.